Well, hello everyone. Welcome to DIY Design by CCW. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Well, I'm going to be doing a DIY for you today. As you can see, I have some glass pieces in front of me. Um, and of course, I am going to be painting. I'm going to work with a couple of different colors this time that uh, I've used before on my channel. Uh, this color is called Ink Spot. It's a beautiful ro uh, royal blue, and I've got some gold ore that I'm going to use for accents. Now, uh, these are thrifted pieces and one uh, Dollar Tree item, and we're just going to see how things turn out. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, you wouldn't have seen this, but um, if you're a follower, then you know that this is what I do. I recommend that if you're going to paint glass, that you first clean it with alcohol. So once that's done and the pieces have been dried, uh, we can go ahead and start painting. Now, um, again, if you're new and you haven't seen me do this before, um, basically, and there you see me just drying the piece a little bit more, basically what I'm doing, I'm using an acrylic uh, brush or a brush that's for acrylic, and the type of paint I'm using uh, for the most of the, the painting that we'll do with, I'll do with these pieces, it's a multi-surface paint. It's made by folk art and uh, you can use it on glass, wood, uh, you know, all sorts of surfaces, but it really does a great job on glass. As you can see, it's got a very rich pigment and uh, you may be able to do one coat. I think I did end up doing two coats uh, for my pieces to get the look that I wanted. Also, you want to make sure you keep your brushes going in the same direction as much as possible. Uh, put that first coat on as light as you can. If you overload the paint, it's going to ruin your paint job. Um, and then let it dry. And with this paint, let it dry at least an hour in between coats. And then you can come back and do a second or even a third coat if that's what you want to do. Now, you're also going to see me um, after I do the first coat on all of these pieces, I'm going to come back and start using the gold ore. Uh, and that paint, it's also made by uh, folk art, but it's a treasure gold metallic paint. And uh, it doesn't have the same uh, pigment or heavy pigment that this paint does. So you're going to notice, um, again, I'm going to do... Uh, I'll show you on camera what the first coat looks like as I trim out and accent my pieces. But you're going to notice that that first coat is going to go on very light. And uh, I'll have to come back and do three coats in all to get the look that I want. All right, guys. So I'm going to stop talking and let you go ahead and watch me do the painting. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments that you have down in the comments and I'll be back when we get to another part of the DIY.
Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and put the butterflies together. Now these butterflies, uh, what I'm using is a tool. It's made by Recollections. You can buy this tool from Michaels. It's fairly affordable too. Um, and it cuts a nice size butterfly. They're about uh, one and three quarter inches. And uh, I'm using uh, a washable paper that you can purchase from Joanne Fabrics. Now it costs a slight bit more than regular paper, but what I like about it, the paper again is washable. Uh, the glue doesn't disturb it at all that I'm gonna have to use to uh, get the butterflies to adhere to my pieces. I'm also going to be adding some little miniature uh, rhinestones to accent the butterflies. And, uh, and I don't have to worry about, you know, them tearing or, you know, coming apart. And uh, I've used this paper before uh, on this channel. I, I sometimes use it to make lids and things like that. But again, today, using it for the butterflies. Now, uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of embellishment to the butterflies. I'm going to use these, uh, rhin these miniature rhinestones. They're called diamond dots. Again, I'll leave that information down in my description box. And I'm using a couple of tools that you can actually purchase to use with the diamond dots. Here you see I'm using the, one of the tools uh, basically to place my glue so that I don't get you know too much glue on the front uh, of the butterfly and then I'm using the other tool to pick up and or to help me rather pick up and place these miniature rhinestones now it takes me a little bit here to get my uh, rhythm down and and kind of get the flow of it but once I get started uh, I'm able to move pretty quick and do quite a few of these butterflies now I wasn't sure how many I was gonna need and I didn't end up needing all of them but I did go ahead and uh, again use you know do do a few of them so that I would have a few extra uh, again once you get a rhythm going here it's pretty you know pretty simple to do and there you see me just moving on and doing um, a few more butterflies so uh, guys I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit let you watch me do this process again please feel free to leave any questions that you have uh, down in the description box and uh, I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some lids. Now for this first uh, container, this is a Dollar Tree tank container, uh, I'm just gonna use a, a candle holder lid uh, and repurpose it for my little Dollar Tree container. And basically I just painted uh, the piece and now you see I'm about to glue on a knob. Uh, and for the knob, uh, these are just crystal uh, door pulls or drawer pulls, actually. Um, you can find them in my Amazon shop. Uh, you can also buy this particular style at a uh, Home Depot. So uh, I'm mixing two types of glue here. I'm going to mix my E6000 Quick Hold, which is the glue I like to use for uh, you know, crafting and, and mainly for applying fabric trims, etc. And I'm using the regular E6000 so that I get a strong hold. Um, now here you see I'm going to go ahead and put together the clear lids that are going to be for the two larger pieces. Now these are just acrylic discs. You can get them really inexpensively. Again, these are also uh, uh, items that you can find in my Amazon shop. Uh, link to that shop is below. Um, and basically the, the discs, they come with uh, a film on the outside to protect the disc. And I've learned that if I'm going to glue anything to them, the best way to do it is to start to peel the film a little bit in one place so that I can get the film off and then leave it on and leave it intact until I get my, my fabric trim. Or in this case, I'm using a two millimeter closed chain wrap. 
um, whatever decoration I'm going to put on um, the edges. And uh, once I do that and get that locked into place, then I can carefully go ahead and uh, pull the film off. And uh, that way I'm not making a mess of the acrylic because it's really hard to get the glue off of this, uh, off of these acrylic lids or disc rather. Uh, I'm going to make it into a lid, but it starts off as a disc. So again, once I do that, I'll go ahead and peel back the film. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue on the same type of knob that I glued on the uh, other lid using the same process, mixing the E6000 regular and the quick hold. And uh, that's it for the lids. Now guys, now I'm going to go ahead and start adding some embellishment to my pieces. There you can see the bottom of this container. Uh, again, I've accented that with gold. I've also uh, added gold around the rim. And that's something I do a lot. Uh, I like to work with two different paint colors and add uh, accent uh, accents like that. I think it makes the pieces look a little bit more custom. Um, now here I'm just using my E6000 Quick Hold and if you're new to the channel uh, the reason I use that glue it's thinner it gives you a quick hold but a strong hold. Uh, very similar to the E6000 but again just a little bit different formula. Um, now there I'm just gluing on some fabric trim and uh, kind of working through my design and I'll do something a little bit different for each of the pieces um, you know just to I want them to look alike but then also each have their own uh, look as well so here I'm also working with a fabric trim now this is a faux uh, leather trim that you can also buy from um, both of these trims rather they do come both of the trims rather that I'm working with here uh, come from Joanne Fabrics. Now um, I like this faux trim and I've been using it a bit lately because it's pretty inexpensive. You get like eight or ten yards for I don't know maybe three bucks something like that and uh, you have to be a little bit careful with it when you're gluing it because it can tear. It's a little bit different than the regular uh, fabric trims that I work with but again it's affordable. It adds a nice punch, you know, uh, or, you know, a nice bit of uh, uh, bling, or it's not really bling, but maybe it is. It's shiny, anyway, uh, to the pieces, and uh, adds a nice little bit of contrast. So you'll see that I'm going to do the same thing around the top of this piece, and again, as I said, I'm going to change it up a little bit for each of the pieces, and you'll note that uh, as you see me do the DIY and then once I get the trim on of course I'm gonna glue on uh, some butterflies so all right guys I'm gonna stop talking let you watch me do this and I'll be back when we get to another part of the DIY
So now I'm going to move on here and do the last uh, DIY, which is this little Dollar Tree cylinder. And as you can see, I accent at the bottom as well as around the edges uh, with, uh, you know, the, the gold paint. And again, that paint is gold ore uh, that, I'm, that I use for the accent. So here again, going to change it up a little bit. Uh, I thinned out the fabric trim, you know, to kind of scale it down a little bit to fit the piece. And uh, I'll go ahead and add some trim to the top and the bottom and go ahead and add uh, my butterfly as well. Now, once this piece is done, guys, hang on, because when I come back, it'll be time for the final reveal. This is the finished look. This is how the Royal Butterfly set turned out. I think I like it. I really do. Um, the, it's a little bit different and probably a little different than I would usually make. But uh, And I think I'm more of a fan of Royal Blue and Silver. But I, I think this does still work. Now, I made this set as a gift uh, for someone who loves royal blue and gold and they love butterflies. So I'm hoping that uh, they like the set. Here's a close-up of the little Dollar Tree cylinder. And uh, again, overall, I think I'm happy with it. There's a close-up of the lid or one of the lids. But you guys let me know what you think down in the description box. Which do you like, royal blue and silver or royal blue and gold? 
I think I like royal blue and silver. Now here's some pieces from other videos and of course I'll link those down in the description box. One on the right there is a soap container that I did. That's a part of a set, one of my favorite. And then this royal blue and gold uh, is one I did with royal blue and gold leaf. And uh, that's a few videos back. I'll link that one as well. Guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed and you like this kind of DIY, I hope you'll do that. Also, I want to give a shout out to my members. I really appreciate your support. And you've got some new videos coming your way. Uh, again, guys, thank you for watching. And like I say, at the end of every video, I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.